All right, we're standing here on Masada. This was Herod's, uh, he built this, it's really a palace. He built it here so that he could come and stay there in the summer. But the irony of it is that he would stay down in Jericho, which is just a little ways from here. So we have the Dead Sea in uh, the back of us. The ramp that Rome was built is over to my right, your left. And, but this is an incredible place. Uh, the manpower that it took to just keep this place running. And uh, many, many storage rooms. When the rebellion came about uh, around 70, when the, uh, the Jews were being overthrown by the, by the Romans, they were holed up here. And what did they find a surprise when they got in here? Because many of them, most of them had committed suicide. There was only like just a, a couple of women and children left. But Masada is, uh, is renowned just for its, uh, just the, the construction of it. The technology that they had back here, they had a, a cistern. Um, there was, uh, they, they built the palace on the north side because it was cool in the summer. And, uh, and then uh, the, the walls, it was impregnable. Nobody could get up to it. So, and it's one of the things that go to my air. She used uh, Masada to rally the Jews. Uh, the Syrians were gathering up on the border, and there's only one road up. And I'm talking about the Golan Heights now, which is across the uh, Sea of Galilee. And uh, they were being a, a, a surprise attack. So she got on the radio, the national radio at that time, and her call for the people was simply this Masada, no more. We are no longer going to be commit suicide, we're no longer going to to, uh, to kill ourselves, we are going to fight to the death. It's a small war. They won that and, uh, and God spared them once again. But one day soon, the Lord Jesus is going to come and He's going to make sure that there will never be another Messiah. He'll, he'll make sure that there's never another war because He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and He's also the Prince of Peace. Both the bloodshed that's going to take place until that time comes. So my encouragement to you is that you come to know Christ as your personal Savior and uh, rely upon Him for your salvation and not on yourself, not on any government, not on any man, not on any church. But put your faith in the Lord Jesus. Masada is a testament of what happened and, and how the people treasured their freedom. They did not want to be slaves. But think about how that you were enslaved by your sin and that how the sin owned you. And Jesus came to set you free from that. And He will do that because He'll break the chains of bondage. So I point you to Christ today. And I pray for you as well.